Hello students, in today's video we are going to learn about question number 12 of your EOT and what we need to verify in this that the work kinetic energy theorem is equivalent to Newton's second law. Okay, there are the four formulas I need to verify. Okay, let's start. We have work done which is equals to F delta X which is equals to M A X minus X naught which is equals to half M V F square minus half M V I square. Clear guys? I need to solve all these things. Okay. Now let's start with the basic point. Huh? Let's say we have a body and having a mass M and it starts moving. If it starts moving, can I say there is a word called motion? Okay, when there is a motion, it covers distance x. Then when it has a motion with velocity v, then we have an acceleration. Clear? Acceleration means we are applying the force and we are doing the work. Yes or no? Okay, now we have the mass m. Let's start with x and the velocity. So we have mass which is equals to m okay now the distance is equals to x velocity now velocity what is velocity dx over dt dx over dt rate of change of displacement what is acceleration dv over dt what is force f is equals to ma can i write m dv divided by dt dv by dt yes or no clear okay now from this equation from this equation can i use dx is equals to v dt yes or no okay i'm going to use this huh okay force after that we have work done what is work done f delta x f delta x can i say f what is delta x v dt yes or no sure so if i need to find the complete work done or you can say the dw here if you want to find the complete work done so can i say i initial to final position f so what are the values we have what is the f m dv over dt fine okay and what i have instead of dx what is the value v dt dt and dt cancel so what is the value left integration m v d v initial to final clear fine okay solve it upper limit minus lower limit so what we have m outside v 1 plus 1 upon 1 plus 1 limit is initial to final so what is the value half m v square limit is i to f okay so what we get work done is equals to half m v f square minus half m v i square clear fine so we understand all the things how to solve them so we have work done which is equals to f delta x which is equals to f is m a x f minus x i yes or no so we verify the first equation and the second equation clear okay now let's move to the question number two explain then why law of conservation of energy is considered to be greater significance than newton's second law okay part b because in case of in two cases number one subatomic particles subatomic particles and second when velocity is nearly equals to c which is speed of light speed of light in both the cases newton's second law is not good here your law of significance or law of conservation law of conservation is much 
better that's why this has more significance understand clear okay guys so now this is the end of your question number 11 uh, question number 12 and soon i will meet you with question number 13 so till then take care bye and keep on practicing